Moving on to news from Myanmar, opium production in Myanmar posed a daunting challenge for Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy Party, which is set to take part in February next year. Myanmar produced an estimated 647 tons of opium in 2015, second only to Afghanistan, a UN report states. A new report published by United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, or UNODC, has stated that opium production remains a grave concern in Myanmar despite being stabilized for a third year. The country is not only a major producer of opium and its derivative heroin, but also narcotics and a highly addictive drug named methamphetamine. The billion dollars illegal drug industry is majorly booming in border areas and conflicted areas controlled by ethnic rebel armies or by the Myanmar military and allied militias. Poverty has also driven many farmers to the illicit production. But you'll notice it's particularly highlighted in North Shan, which coincidentally is where you see the increase that we are reporting, the 14% increase. So there's an interesting correlation between conflict in that area and production. He also called for scaling up UNODC projects in Myanmar to provide opium farmers with alternative sources of income, such as coffee. In the scale of the challenge that I've presented um, and the fact that part of the north of the country is essentially a drug economy, she has a big task in front of her. And it's not something which is going to be fixed in a day. Myanmar recently emerged from decades of military rule and many in the country are pinning hopes on the newly elected National League of Democracy led by Aung San Suu Kyi to eradicate such social menace and bring progress and development.